Hello everyone, Jeff of the Green Review here. This dragon fruit has got a lot of adventitious roots coming out all over the stems. Adventitious roots are roots that develop on a plant any place it isn't already a root. When a plant sprouts from a seed, there are cells that become roots, other cells become stems, leaves, and flowers. Adventitious roots develop from stems and leaves for a variety of reasons. Some adventitious roots replace the original roots in location and function, while others have an entirely new location and function. Adventitious roots may be underground or aerial. Many adventitious roots are short-lived and are replaced at the beginning of each new growing season, such as on rhizomes, corms, tubers, and bulbs. The original plant roots or stems may be damaged, creating the need for more functioning roots. People use this wound response of growing new adventitious roots to propagate cuttings of stems for many kinds of plants and for leaves of such plants as African violets, begonias, sansevieria, and sedums. Some plants normally create adventitious roots that are at least partially duplicating the normal root functions of holding up a plant. There are stilt roots that develop from the few first nodes on the plant stem and grow straight down to support the plant, such as in corn and sugarcane. Prop roots grow down from branches and hold up such diverse plants as figs and mangroves. Some plants develop new adventitious roots at nodes on stolons and rhizome tissue where new plants are created. Strawberries, many grasses, and weeds spread this way. Flooding induces many plants to develop roots on the stem and trunk as new soil piles up around the trunk and over the old root system, new adventitious roots are produced higher up where there's more oxygen in the soil. Plants that grow in wetland areas use this ability to stay alive. Tomato plants may not grow on wetlands like rice, but both plants can grow these adventitious roots on their stems. Many plants use adventitious roots growing from stems and branches to attach themselves to objects so that the plant can climb higher or just to hold themselves in place such as you know, vines and a lot of orchids. Many vines use these climbing roots to attach themselves to walls or trees, but don't use the roots to absorb water. Some aquatic plants develop air-filled adventitious roots so they can float. Adventitious roots are an interesting part of plant anatomy that gardeners can use to their advantage. And this is Jeff for The Green Review. Thanks for watching.